Today, we are going to work on solving similar triangles using proportions. We are going to be looking for the missing segments or angles and setting up proportions to solve them. So we're going to start off with this triangle. So we have these two triangles. It says that the triangles below are similar. Find the missing side length in DEF. So if they're similar, we know that the sides are proportional and the angles are congruent. So this triangle, AB, is going to be proportional to DE. And then we know that BC is going to be proportional to EF. So I'm going to go ahead and set these up. I'm going to put AB 12 over 3 equals to 9 over X. Now, in order to solve these, we are going to cross multiply and divide, okay? So in this case, when we cross multiply, we're going to start with 12 times x, which is 12x. And then we have 9 times 3. 9 times 3 is 27. Now, we want to get x by itself. So we do the inverse operation. Right now you're multiplying these two things because they're next to each other. So in order to move that 12 to the other side and to get the 1x, you divide by 12 on both sides. And x is equal to 2.25. So this value right here is 2.25. And the problem says what is EF? So EF is equal to 2. 0.25. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so the triangles below are similar. Find the missing side length in triangle ABC and DEF. Okay, let's go ahead and highlight here. So remember, we match up these letters. AB goes to DE. So AB matches DE. Then we do BC equals EF. BC is proportional to EF. And the last one we have there is going to be that DF matches with that AC. So AC is proportional to DF. Now, in order to set up these fractions, you can only do one at a time. You always need to use the ones that you have a value for. So for both of these, we are going to start with the 30 and the 10. So 30 over 10 is equal to, and if I want to do that blue one now, because I put that AB on top, the BC goes on top over Y. Okay, let's go ahead. So this is going to help us find Y, which is the EF. And could I have done the X first? Absolutely. I'm going to cross multiply. 30 times y is 30y, and 10 multiplied by 27 is 270. Inverse operation, go ahead and divide both sides by 30. Okay, so now 270 divided by 30 is 9. So y is equal to 9 which means EF is equal to nine. Okay. Next, we're gonna find that yellow segment that I did there. Again, I'm gonna use that 30 over 10 again, since that was given to me. 30 over 10 is proportional to, and I'm gonna do AC over DF, so X over eight. Go ahead and cross multiply eight times 30 is 240, 10 times x is 10x. So inverse operation, I'm going to divide by 10 on both sides. Now I know that x is on the other side, but that's okay. 24 equals x is the same thing as x equals 24. Therefore, ac is equal to 24. Okay, make sure you write this all down, okay? Let's do it again. 
the triangles below are similar. Find the missing side length and angles in these two triangles. So they don't look similar because that second triangle is actually rotated, okay? So this triangle is actually laying on its side. Pay attention that AB is proportional to DE. So AB is proportional to DE. You see how it's on its side? So these two numbers I'm going to put into one fraction. So 21 over 7 equals, now I'm looking for AC. AC goes with DF right here. So I'm going to put these two into a ratio, into a fraction, that way I can solve it. So I'm going to start with 21 over 7, those red ones equals to y over 7. Maybe you guys know what the answer is going to be, but I'm going to go ahead and work it out anyways. I'm going to cross multiply. 21 times 7 is 147 equals 7y. Now divide both sides by 7, and you actually get that y is equal to 21. So this side, AC, is equal to 21. Now this one also has a missing angle. Oh, we should like missing angles in similar triangles because angle B, so pay attention to the text on the top. Angle B is in the middle, so it matches to angle D. Angles are congruent in similar figures. So those angles should be equal to each other. So angle B is equal to 70 degrees. Okay, good job. Let's do our last problem of the day, okay? The triangles below are similar. Find the missing side length and angle in these triangles. Again, we're gonna go back to matching it up. A, B matches D, E. A, B is proportional to DE as, what else do we have? We have BC, BC is these two letters, we use these two letters, matches EF. So I'm gonna start with those. So AB over DE is equal to BC over EF. Okay, write that down. Go ahead and cross multiply and divide. If you wanna practice, pause it here. We are going to cross multiply and divide. So 10 times y is 10y. 18 times 19 is 342. Now using that inverse operation, we're gonna divide both sides by 10. We get y equals 34.2. So this side right here is 34.2. Now the angles, remember, similar shapes have congruent angles. So angle B is congruent to angle E. Okay. And angle C right here is congruent to angle F. That means they have the same exact numbers. So they are both 105 degrees. Great job. Hopefully this video helped you practice solving similar triangles using proportions. Have a great day.